Now we we'll see why document is required. Document is required for system independent organization. It also provides an evidence of management commitment to quality based practices and practice demonstrate technical competence of the organization to achieve the objectives. Now if you will see the documentation hierarchy, you will find that the quality manual is the first level of document. Procedure, work instruction, procedure or quality system procedure is the second level of documentation. Work instruction is the third level of document and other supporting documents such as the record and register are the fourth level of documentation. Now you see in the pyramid you can find that the quality manual is the first level of document, second level is the quality system procedure, third level is the test procedure or work instruction, the fourth level is the forms and format or register. Why we need the documentation? Documentations are needed by the organization to ensure effective planning to ensure the operation shall be running smoothly, to control its processes, to adverse event recording to further improvement and to fulfill the lab quality management system. What is the purpose of the document? The purpose of a documentation is to provide the information, to give the instructions, to persuade the reader, to enact something. If you see then that to provide the information, there are various examples for that, that is the test report, literature reviews and specification. To give the instruction, like that the work instruction which is prepared in the laboratory, the persuade the reader, that is the proposals, recommendation and reports, and to enact something is regulations, patent, authorization and memorandum. Why it is important to have a documentation? Documentation is important to have to get our message across, to promote and mobilize resources, to monitor, evaluate and understand the impact, to concise, concisely make changes in our work, to use it for advocacy purposes, to influence policies and practices, to add to institutional memory, to capture events, learning and experiences, to generate knowledge and be an authority. What are the various means of documentations? The photographs, a written page, videos and documentaries, note making, case studies, reports, articles, journals are the various means of documentations. Various controls are required when making the documentation and these controls are number one, prepare the document, review the document, and approve the document with proper authorization. Make sure that the document is having a proper identification number and the lab shall maintain the master list of document for all the document available in the system. Make sure that the latest version of a document is available at a point of use and that the absolute document is removed from the actual point of use. Document distribution list to be prepared regularly review the documents and follow the document change procedure. Document change shall give the proper identification of revision number, date and authorization as given in earlier system. This is one of the example of the header of a quality manual. Now you can see that the header identified the document number, the name of the laboratory, the document name, the document number, issue number, issue date, amendment number, amendment date and page number. Now footer of a quality manual or a document defines prepared by, reviewed by, issued by and approved by. Now this is the example of a document approval mechanism in any laboratory. It may be a different for a different laboratory, but here you can see that if you are preparing a document, you should specify that who is going to prepare the document, who is going to review the document, who is going to approve the document, and who is going to issue the document. 
example of a master list of document in which the column number 2 specify the name of the document then the next column specify the document number then the revision and issue number then revision and issue date prepared by approved by and issued to example of a document chain note now this is one of the example of a document chain note mechanism or format now this is one of the format which gives you idea about a document distribution format in which you can mention the name of the document document number issue of the division number issue of the division date copy number issue to and signature of the person to whom you are giving the documentation now key points of the clause 4.3 are all official documents should be authorized and controlled documents shall be regularly reviewed and updated if necessary the review frequency depends on the document itself typical review cycles are between one and three years changes to documents should follow the same review process as for the development of initial thank you